Well, hello and welcome back to another video series. This is Ryan Hipper going for TCGPlayer.com. We're playing some Black Green Devotion. We did win the die roll, and we would like to play first. Um, unfortunately, one of my friends borrowed Mutavaults from me, and uh, I didn't get them back yet. Uh, this hand's fine. Uh, it's 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 against the hyper aggro decks. It's really good. Um, against the control decks, it's really good. Uh, against like the devotion decks, it needs a little help, but uh, should be alright. Mono black mirror, that'd be good. Do like me some mono black mirror. Oh, it's not really mirror, but it's you know, um, it's a thing. Oh, Esper. Esper is also a good matchup. Um, yes, yeah, so we're playing the three Golgari Charms main, which, uh, you know, certainly make life easier. So, against Esper, um, I really want to be hitting land drops, so I'm tempted to, uh, tempted to place Underworld Connections now, but I think it's Nightville Spectre, just because if we can hit him, hit and play a land... And then um, if he deals with this, we can resolve this Unreal Connections anyway. Oh, that's close, though. Because we do want to hit that third land, so like next turn we can hit the land and play Nightville Spectre. Um, I don't know if this is connecting or not, but uh, hey, we got there. So we're going to attack first, in case we hit a land. This guy might begin Azori's Charm, too, but it's all the, you know, just better for us. We'll shock ourselves and play Unreal Connections. Charm. Demir Charm. So we could regen it. I don't know if we care, though. No, we don't care about that one. Uh, we will shock ourselves to get ahead of card. Oh, not that one. Pass the turn. He's going to play a Jace. Sounds good. I think that's one reason to to regen the thing. Thoughtsies for attendance to your verdict. So we wanted to take the D sphere. Or the verdict. Well, probably the D sphere. We don't want him to have Thoughtsies. So we put Thoughtsies alone. Maybe we put Thoughtsies alone. That could be fine. Um I'm pretty sure he takes this pile then. If we do it like this, uh, if we put pile like this, it's pretty obviously this pile. Um, but this could be like the trick piles. Yeah, I think I think it's just this, and then we can deal with one of these, or just let a demon get verdicted away. So we're drawing a card. We're probably downfalling Jace. Man, see, like I wish I could see his hand. Like I wish we thought he's in this game. Yeah. I'm gonna draw a card now. Hey, Green Merchant. Nice to see ya. Alright, we are gonna do pay on life now. Uh land would have been nice. Yeah, and we're just gonna kill Jace. Um The reason we're killing Jace is because he's gonna detention sphere this underworld connections. And then uh on our turn we can Golgari Charm it, Thought sees him, and then draw a card. Which seems pretty good. Yep. As so long as he doesn't have like exactly syncopate, and if he does, that just means we can't draw a card. Uh, I'm not too concerned with that. Land? No, oh, it's a land. Okay, so we can Golgari Charm this, enchant this, Thought sees him. Well, it's Thought sees first, right? Yeah, thought sees first. I like that. Holy removal, Batman. I think it's Aetherling here. Just because uh, we're not going to fight through all this removal. And this is the way he's winning. So we're going to take this Aetherling. It's pretty easily Aetherling. Um, yeah, he's got a bunch of, bunch of removal in hand. Nope, nope, undo that. We want this on the swamp, so we want to tap this and this. Destroy target enchantment. Get out of here. Get this underworld back. 
Play land tapped, pass the turn. Um, so that's that's pretty much the main reason we were uh, want to draw red for two. Okay, don't really care about that one. Did you miss a land drop too? Sweet. All right, so we're gonna play this land. Um, I think we want to. I mean, whatever we do, he's gonna kill it. Um, and whether he kills it with Devour Flesh or he kills it with Downfall, it doesn't really matter. And while he's tapped out, I think I want to get value out of this Gray Merchant, because always he'll just kill it with your, with it on the stack. So I think it's going to be our only opportunity to get 4 life out of Gray Merchant. So we're going to cast Gray Merchant. Just to keep drawing cards, so we don't like get too low and he kills us in 2 hits with Ailing, or, or 2 hits with a Blood Baron or something. Because he's going to kill this. You can draw a card, but this, this thing is dying. Abros is good. It's very good. Alright, so... Um, I kind of want to go to combat. If I play this, he devour flashes in response. We lose this, he doesn't take damage. Yes, yeah, so we're going to go to combat. Make him kill this, we can resolve Abros here. That is the game plan. So he didn't kill it, which means he probably has counterspell in hand, or he wants to sweep away whatever other threat we play. Uh, let's let's draw a card for more information. Nykthos, activate Nykthos, play f four. So we'll have one, two, three, f seven mana. Play these two. Sure, let's do that. Sounds like a plan. Nikhil Spectre. Okay, and he probably has the dissolve still. He's gonna just gonna dissolve this and sweep away the other ones. I don't know what else he would have that he wouldn't have hit this. Yeah, he'd be exactly dissolve. Uh, so maybe that was wrong because like he you know played into it, but uh, he's gonna sweep these away. We untap, play Desecration Demon. I think we just wanted to say go there and not walk into it. Yeah, Supreme Verdict. Alright, so that was that was probably incorrect. Yeah, Grey Merchant's really good though. Okay, so we have one, two, three, f so we play Grey Merchant. Activate this. It'll be four mana. So play DD. So play Desecration Demon. Activate this. That's the, that's the line to play here, because he does not have another verdict to our knowledge. Desecration Demon. Activate Nykthos. Not gonna draw a card this turn, but that's probably fine just to get an extra two points of damage. He's got easily two removal spells. So I'm gonna start drawing cards again. Alright, so I'm tem really tempted to play one of these before combat, just so make him use the removal spells he's gonna use. So he can't like devour flesh us. Let that resolve, huh? Okay. Combat. Triggers. Double downfall? Okay. Demir charm. Likes those demure terms. Hey, Packrat's a card. 
Okay, so we are going to play this pack rat. And he, we will get devour fleshed in response. No, we didn't get devour fleshed. Why are we not getting devour fleshed? I'm so confused. Alright, we're going to go to combat. This will, uh, let's get down fell. Yep. And uh, we're just going to pass the turn. End of his turn, we'll make. I guess we make two rats. One, two, three, one, two, three. Sure, it'd be nice to have Abros in play so we can't rev his way out of this. It's main phase rev. Detention sphere. Okay, so if he fuses this. Oh, okay, let's see what he fears. Probably the underworld, no? The rat. Okay, um... So that leaves him with... Devour Flesh in hand, right? I don't, I don't think I fucked that up. I think he's got a Devour Flesh in hand. Um... Yeah, so, I mean, that's that's resolving. Can't make one response, because then it just... That also gets eaten. And on its end step, we will decay this and discard um, Nightfell Spectre. I get that's awkward to discard, but yeah, okay. Like he's dead on board then. Alright, game two. So we have a board plan for this matchup. Uh, Mist Cutter is really good. Um, if he's on Blood Baron, we want these Life Bane zombies, and there's a good chance he is. So we're going to bring him in. Uh, the second whip comes in. Uh, cards that get cut. Um, I am actually a fan of cutting Pack Rat in this matchup. Like, I know that's really unpopular. So we don't need this ultimate price. We don't need these Pack Rats. Um, the reason I cut Pack Rat is because I think it's more of a liability against them. Because, like, you, you go all in, not all in, but, like, if, if we had discarded to that Pack Rat, that Detention Sphere would have just, just ate us alive. Like, it would have, like, three for one dust and, like, double time walked us if it was early enough in the game. And, um, I just, I just think we're winning the game through Honorable Connections card advantage and Evros. Not, uh, and we cut one of these Decays, one of these Night Veil Spectres. We want that. We want Life Pain, want Evros, want to, and one of these Downfalls can go. Uh, we're just trimming some numbers. We want the rest of those. All Thoughtsies are good. Um, this last one, again, depends on the list. Like, it could be just we only want two Lifebane Zombies. It could be we only want two Nightville Spectres. Um, I think I'd rather have Lifebane Zombie than Nightville Spectre, not knowing if he's on Blood Baron or not, because we didn't see a Blood Baron. Um, uh, but we have Eberos, because, like, there's no Devour Flesh in this list, if, if, if you didn't see that. Um, anyway, I think we'll go like that. The Desecration Demon is just a really fat creature. He has to deal with. Um, it's a clock. It's it's uh like a, like he plays Elspeth when we have DD in play. Normally they'll up ticket so they can just sack dudes to it instead of down taking to get rid of the DD, and then like a guard charm like sweep the tokens away and then we attack the Elspeth. Like that that's happened actually um, a good number of times. Um, and that game we didn't we didn't even need Muta Vault. That Nykthos actually did did, did <laughs> activated twice, you know. Yep, the sands uh the sands really good against Esper. Um, I think we played this tapped on one. So like if he has exactly Thoughtseize. If he has like Scryland to Thoughtseize. Uh he takes one of these, we still have one. And then we can Thoughtseize him on two, take the second Thoughtseize. Okay, so if he has next turn, he has to have like Swamp Thoughtseize Thoughtseize for this to be a bad line. And even if he does, he probably Thoughtseize this Golgari Charm. Yeah, yeah we're playing this Golgari Guild Gate. That's, that's, this feels a lot better. Um, then we don't have to hit Swamp to have this connections on three. Or we could play this on two, I guess, but yeah, there's Thoughtseize. Um, so he probably takes the Whip now. 
It's either Whip or Gagari Charm, I think. Yeah, oh, moves the Thoughtseize. Okay. So, Negate is a card. But I think we're okay running headfirst into that. Um, I'm tempted to put it on Nykthos, but I don't think that's right. He doesn't know about this. That's good. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna we're gonna run this head first into uh, whatever he's got, and it is important. Um, many many Esper players will bring in Pith Needle against this, so the next onward we play is going to be on. Hey, we get to kill that with this guy. It's gonna be sweet. Okay, uh, so we hit all his land drops. Um, we have a guard charm for this verdict. I'm tempted to say it's it's this. Instead of giving him two lands. Because he might just, if he has Rev in hand, he easily takes two lands. And we don't really care about Verdict right now. So I think it's this. And it's the Shock land instead of the Scry land. Because obviously, the you know, two life is actually relevant in this matchup. And, uh, uh, so, you know, Scry has value. Like, it's coming into play tapped anyway. And he's got all his colors, right? Okay. Okay, so I want to draw a card. I want to play Miss Cutter Hydra for X's two and kill this Jace. I don't know how big a deal that was to him, but, uh, uh, Blood Baron. Lurg. Okay, well, we have whips. Let's try to find something. Right, we're gonna play this tapped, and then enchant it with, uh, Underworld. Not attacking. Now that's one reason to hold on to uh, Miscutter Hydras, because they are they can be bigger in this. Like he'll attack us, we're not gonna block. Yep, yeah, second Blood Baron's pretty good. Ebros, Grey Merchant. Well, that's a big Grey Merchant. Um, so this Nykthos adds one, two, three, four at the moment. So I think we want to draw a card. Alright, so we play Swamp. We play Whip. We take 8, go to 5. We really need to find an Ebros, like now. So we play Land. Activate Nykthos. Yeah, cast Blood Baron. Leave up that. That seems good. Um. Yeah. So we will take eight. Because we can't, you know, do anything about that, obviously. And we will go to... Oh, Life Pain Zombie's a card. Hmm. Draw a card, get some information. Let's get a rev in response or something. If he revs in response, we're definitely playing this light bane to get one of those things out of his hand, but he did not. So, 
Activate Nykthos. Play Whip. The Opalgari Charm. We have two black mana up. So we play... I guess we can just play this Life Bane Zombie. Yeah. Okay, well, we are attacking. We're getting some life. So we are going to take 8, go to 5. Jeez. Yep. Optic probably. Yeah. I just think we're supposed to bring in Gaze of Granite too against Esper. The one of. So with Thoughtseize go to 2, take something, attack, go to 1, 2, 3, 4, go to 6. In his turn we can, so we can downfall Jace. So. Downfall Grey Merchant. Activate this on Grey Merchant. We really need to draw Eberos. So we probably just need to draw Eberos here. Not an Eberos. Yeah, Green Mission's pretty good. Alright, so we're going to float a bunch of mana. We're going to cast... Oh, we can't. Can I undo that? We need to go to combat first. So I can gain the life so I can thought seize him. Attack Jace. No, no, not not Jace. We're gonna downfall Jace. Attack you, attack you, attack you. Alright, so we're gonna do Thought Seize You with mana from Nykthos. I wanna leave the green up for Gari Charm. Do we, yeah, we pop Gari Charm here. We want to let Sky around just so steals two more. Yeah, I think we take Dissolve here. Maybe though we can't cast it. We just need to be resolving that Eberos if we draw it. Alright, so we have eight mana. We can cast Desecration Demon. And then tap this and play this guy. That's the game plan. Boom. Man, if we had Bros in play. We don't get to downfall this, but it's not actually that big a deal. If he wants to verdict, he can verdict. Like, whatever. Uh, put the rev alone.
What did he grab? He grabbed Island Fiendslayer, which means he has a rev. Alright, well, we'll take eight. One to ten. Verdict? Fiendslayer. Verdict. I mean, I think that's good if he's verdicting away his <laughs> Blood Barons. It feels pretty good. Now we get to, like, whip our Grey Merchants and stuff. Fiendslayer Paladin. Can't target that guy. Hey, and Eberos, too. Oh, we run so good. Oh, he's Devour Flesh, though. Well, let's play around Devour Flesh. Let's draw a card. It's two guard charms to kill this dude. Um, still gonna pay more life. There's a dude. So Devour Flesh is a thing. Let's float six. So if we just Grey Merch swing at Jace, he Devour Fleshes us, we gain four. Can't downfall that. Um, really wish we had another way to deal with those Grey Merch, or the Devour Fleshes he has in hand. But we don't. So it might just be play this. For a bunch, swing at Jace, get Devour Fleshed. And the next turn we start whipping. Uh, whatchamacallit? That seems fine. Eight minutes left on the clock, shoot. Okay, yeah, float black. Play this. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna play this untapped. I think. Yeah. This is where Mutaball would be nice, but, uh, yeah. Gain a bunch of life. Uh, maybe we don't play this. Yeah, just play tapped. I don't know. If we, we, I mean, maybe killing the thing end of turn, killing a D sphere end of turn is a big deal, but. Yeah, I don't. Have Devour Flesh or two. This is just really low impact. Ugh. God damn it. Yep. Alright, well, time to start whipping some gray merchants. Hey, thought these is right on time. I knew we had that too. Oh well, it's out of his hand. Let's draw a card. Let's draw another card. Let's uh, activate this whip of Erebos. Adeling. Yep. Guy's pretty good. Let's 
Come on, green merchants. I think I want to whip Desecration Demon. Force him to sack a creature. Uh, yes, we will empty the pool. Alright, well. Now he's. His main source of life gain is turned off. Chase resolves. Uh, that or that, sure. Yep. No blocks. Green merchants. There's one. Hooray! All right, so we won against Esper. Um, I think we're the clear favorite in the in this matchup. Um, even though we didn't bring in the gaze, I think the gaze is supposed to come in, and uh, maybe a pithing is supposed to be in the board. But, um, you know, it's close. Anyway, uh, we'll be back for another one.